Y'all gonna have to bear with me tonight because I got allergies and sinus. I really didn't, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I didn't feel like going live tonight, but so many people like, where you been at? You ain't been live in a minute. Shit, your girl been sick. I ain't been feeling too well, y'all. Okay. I'm in Mississippi, baby. Okay. I'm in the South. I think we like an hour behind you guys. So it's almost morning. <laughs> What's up, boo? I miss y'all, too. I just been, your girl ain't been feeling good. I think it's all the, these allergies and pollens and, you know, the leaves and stuff is falling. It's heavy down here in the south, y'all. And this allergy's been kicking my butt, okay? Plus, with mercury retrograde, I just feel like... <laughs> I just want to sleep. I don't know why I've been so tired. I've been tired, you guys. But I've been working behind the scenes, y'all. I've been working on my second deck. So when I'm not on here, believe me, I'm putting in at work. Um, But I was like, let me get my butt on here and go live and give a reading. New to your channel. Happy to meet you. It's good to meet you too, sweetheart. Will I be moving? Well, I'm going to do a collective reading, sweetheart, okay? This is how my channel works. I do a collective reading. And then afterwards, if you want me to do like a personal question for you, it's a $15 donation. And the link is in my bio, okay? So that's how my readings work. But if you want a private reading, you can click the link in my bio and go over to my Etsy shop and you can get a private reading over there. I will be doing like um, private Zoom readings. I'm trying to set up my, what do they call it? It's a calendar. I'm trying to set up my calendar so people can get a live reading from me. My schedule been so off the chain, y'all, but I'm working on that. So, you know, for those of you who want a, a private reading and you want to do a live reading with me, Good evening, boo. How you doing? So, y'all, we're going to go ahead and jump into this reading because I don't know how long my voice is going to last. Y'all, like I said, bear with me. This allergies sign has been kicking my butt. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, so this is going to be a timeless reading because I am going to post it on my YouTube channel. Um, It's going to be timeless. So whenever you come across this reading, that's when you meant to see it. But we're going to first see what your angels and your spirit guides are wanting for you to know. Okay. What they want you to know at this time. Then we're going to get some random messages. Okay. Um, and you guys also, this reading will not resonate with everyone. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. Um, this is going to be the people that I'm connecting to. So if I'm not connecting with you, try to type, try to tap the screen and comment you know the more you engage with me the more i'm able to pick up on your energy that goes for my posts as well so the more you guys comment on my post and i read them and you connect them with me more than likely i'll start channeling your energy okay so y'all we finna jump into this thing and see what your spirit guides and your angels are wanting for you to know okay what's to come I'm going to say it's a time this reading, but I'm really looking towards like the end of October. Now to the end of I'm not October, September. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors and spirit guides to the purest white light. Show me what I need to see for the collective at this time. What do the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Divine Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors. Give me truth and clarity. What do the collective need to know? Hmm. Somebody out here playing the blame game? <laughs> Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. One more card what's going on here okay at the bottom of the deck we got empath it says i am open to seeing both sides of the situation so i'm picking up that for a lot of you guys you're very intuitive okay you can pick up when people change or you can pick up on your environment 
you can tell when something isn't right. You're very sensitive to energy is what I'm hearing. Your intuition could be very heightened around this time because Neptune is in retrograde. We got six planets that's in retrograde right now. But some of you guys, you could be having um, very lucid dreams or you've been having some dreams that's been very vivid. I'm, I'm being told to tell you to write them down. It might not make sense right now, but you're needing to write your dreams down. Um... There's something that you guys are very um, in tune, like something about you being very in tune about a situation at this time. Now, this could be regarding friendships. OK, this could be regarding friendships, but I am picking up on relationships as well. This could be about a friend. This could be about associates, people you deal with on a regular basis, your job, like certain things that you're starting to become very aware of. And I feel like for some of you guys, you could be done pulled your energy back from certain people that you was dealing with. I'm picking up like with this blame coming out, somebody could be blaming you, okay, for a situation falling apart or they could be blaming other people for their life falling apart. I'm picking up on the energy of somebody who really don't like to take accountability for their life, okay? And I'm picking up like somebody who's projecting their energy onto other people. This is somebody who's surrounded in fear at this time as well. A lot of fear. I'm hearing fear-based mentality. Whoever this is, they're very... I'm picking up like... Something about this person is drained or tired or this is somebody who used to blaming other people, but people aren't falling for this person tricks anymore. I'm picking it up as well. So I'm picking up on the energy of somebody who done ran out of <laughs> like this person could no longer blame other people. It's like they're having to face their issues or the fingers are pointing back to them. Whoever this is, you guys, they, they are surrounded in fear at this time. For some of you, you could know this. I'm picking up heavy if this is regarding a friend or if this is regarding a relationship. This, this could have been somebody who put you in a friend zone or this is somebody who's very non-committal. They're used to putting people in a friend zone here, but I'm picking up like this person is trapped in their head and they're trapped in fear at this time. It's like they don't really know what to do. For some of you guys, you could be trapped in your head at this time, okay? Okay. Um, I am seeing some type of balance come in, though. We got the balance card that came out. It says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Somebody is wanting to make things right. Okay, for some of you guys, if this is a relationship, somebody is wanting to come back in and balance out a situation with you. This person is fearing what you're going to say if they come to you. This is somebody who could have blamed you, okay, or blamed other people for their life falling apart. But it's like now they're being forced to take accountability in their life. Hmm. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors and spirit guides of the purest white light. Show me what I need to see for the collective. What is going on with this situation here? Show me what I need to see. Somebody is drained too. Somebody is very tired or exhausted regarding how their life been playing out. Okay. It's like they can no longer put on a charade or they can't keep putting up this facade. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Give me truth and clarity for the collective. What's friendship? We got men holding the corn. And this is coming out under friendship. 
So somebody is wanting to come back in and make things right with you. I feel like somebody is wanting to come in and give you a love offer for some of you. It could have took this person a while, okay, to come back in. But I am picking up on the energy of somebody wanting to rectify their wrongs. Make things right. That's what I'm hearing here as well. For some of you guys, you could have heard from this person this month with that four and five. I'm getting nine. If you haven't heard from this person yet, you can end up hearing from this person this month. Um, or in the fall season, I'm picking up fall as well. Shit, I can't even pick up the damn card. Look at this. Door to romance. This is coming out beside me and holding the heart here. So... Somebody is realizing that you was the missing piece to their puzzle or you are the missing key to their heart. Like, I just heard, I miss you. Um, I don't know if you guys know that song by Aaliyah, but I, I just heard that song, I miss you. Somebody is missing you guys a lot. And it's like they're trying to figure out how can they right their wrongs? How can they change what has already been done? Because for some of them, they feel like they done burnt a bridge with you, is what I'm hearing. They know that they did you wrong. And this is somebody who's realizing that they are the fault. Like It's like they realize that they have self-sabotaged their life. Okay. This is somebody who also kept their heart in a cage. All right. This this person have a hard time showing their emotions or expressing their emotions. But I just heard bow down. <laughs> okay. So this is somebody who's being forced to bow down to how they really feel. Because I'm picking up like. This is somebody who could look at emotions as being weak, okay? Or they view this as a form of weakness. But it's like spirit is making this person bow down. Um, Spirit, show me what else. What's going on with this situation? Show me what I need to see for the collective. They are fearing to come to you guys. Is what I'm hearing. Is this is somebody who fear falling in love? We got a contract. For some of you guys, this person know that you are their twin flame. You're their soulmate. You are their person. They know. Um, they could be having dreams of you guys as well. I feel like something I'm exposed to this person. This is somebody who know that you share a contract with them. And I keep hearing the missing key, the missing piece to their puzzle here. Um, this is somebody who also know that they are being judged as well by the most high. It's like the reason why their life is falling apart is because they fail to understand the assignment. <laughs> okay, plain and simple. This person is being judged. I'm hearing heavy spiritual judgment at this time on this person. This could also be uh, regarding courts, okay, for someone here. This could be regarding courts. Spirit. Blossoming abundance. Wow. <laughs> so, you guys, this person, this is somebody who realized that you are the complete package. You are their ultimate happiness here. They feel like um, they feel like it's time for them to get back on the right path. I'm picking up like a spiritual awakening is taking place with this person, and we got um, third chakra, archangel cameo. So that's why I kept feeling like this person was very drained. Because um, this is the chakra. This is the solar plexus uh, chakra. So this is regarding um, your energy, your strength, your willpower, um, discovering who you are, um, your self-esteem. You know, this is where all your strength come from. 
So this is somebody who's trying to get up the strength to come back towards you guys. Is what I'm hearing. That's for some of you. Um, this person is wanting to right their wrongs. Make amends. Because they know that there is a spiritual contract at play. It's what I'm hearing. Let me pull some cards. Hold on. Shit. They just flipped the script on me, y'all. Hold on. I told y'all we was in heavy karma season now. Um, some of them is getting heavy karma, but I'm also picking up like this person know who you are. Our spirit has been giving this person dreams or visions about who you are. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors and spirit guides of the purest white light. Show me what I need to see. Give me truth and clarity at this time regarding this situation. What's going on here, spirit? Show me what I need to see. Why is friendship... This person could try to come back in and um, they they could want to start off slow. Or for some of you guys, you could want to start off slow, like being friends first before you jump in into a serious relationship with them. But I'm picking up like this is like a tactic or, or a way for them to ease back through the door. <laughs> um, Five of Pentacles. This person is going through hell. All right, whoever this is, they're going through pure hell. Um, some of them could be in poverty, but it don't have to be physical poverty. This could be mental poverty or um, spiritual poverty. But this is somebody who's feeling left out in the cold. This person is go they catching it, okay? Um, you could be the richest person in the world and still be going through some shit, okay? Take Robin Williams, for example. He was one of the richest men on earth, but he ended up committing suicide. This is somebody who is really going through something. I'm picking up more so mentally and spiritually with this person. Okay? They're in a lack mindset. Um, they feel like they chose the wrong person as well, or they went towards the wrong person. Whoever this, whoever they went toward, it like it led this person astray. I'm hearing it took this person off of their divine path, and this is somebody who's been catching hell since they left their divine path here. Okay, they trusted the wrong person or the wrong people. With the Eight of Swords here in the reverse, this is somebody who's trying to escape this trap or this mental prison. They're trying to get out of the situation that they're in at this time. Now, they could be dealing with a karmic right now, you guys, but they're wanting to escape this situation. Um, they're not happy where they are. It's, that's what I'm hearing here. They're not happy where they are. They're ready to leave. There could be a lot of drama around this situation. Spirit, show me. What else? This could be a um. This could be a Taurus or a Aquarius for some of you guys. But yeah, the shit just ain't working out. With the Seven of Pentacles coming in in a reverse, it's not working out. This person is ready to throw in the towel. Like, if this is somebody who's dealing with a karmic here, this person could be sleeping on the couch, okay? Or sleeping in another room. Like, it's to the point where it's like this person can't even stand to be around this karmic or this other option that they've been dealing with here. I just heard, you left me no choice. Left me no choice. I don't know what that means. We got the four of pentacles here. So I'm picking up that there could definitely be a karmic that's trying to hold on to this person, but this person don't want to work out this situation. They don't. They're ready to escape. They're ready to leave. But there is a karmic here that's trying to hold on to this person at this time. But this person is ready to come towards you guys with a love offer here. It's too much drama. It's a lot of drama that's surrounding this situation. A lot of arguments, fights. I just heard for nothing. Like, they could definitely be fighting over stupid stuff. Like, anything and everything. It's, it's not got toxic. This situation unturned toxic. 
is what I'm hearing. And it's like this person, angels and spirit guides, is trying to get them out of this situation. It's like spirit is making things hell. Like spirit is giving this person hell to get him, him or her out of this situation here. And they know that they need to hurry up and leave. Spirit, what else? For some of you guys, you definitely could have been dealing with a Capricorn towards our Virgo. I got too many pinnacles coming out. We got the King of Pinnacles coming in in reverse. So this could be a Capricorn towards our Virgo, but this person is losing a lot. Okay. This could also be financially. This could be somebody who's paying a lot of bills, debts, or this person owe a lot of people. Um, but I'm hearing unstable. This is somebody who's very unstable at this time. I'm also picking up on the energy that there could be a karmic that know that this person is wanting to come back to you. And this could be another reason why it's a lot of fighting here. They could be blaming this person for, I'm picking up like blaming this person for destroying this relationship. Or they feel like this person is wanting to come back to you guys. For some of you, this person have reached out to you and this karmic found out or this is somebody who done found messages or they done seen your picture in this person's phone or they done seen this person watching you on their phone. Something done been exposed about this person here. And I feel like this is one of the main reasons why they're fighting so much. Spirit, what is going on? Some of you guys, you could be 33 or you could have met this person when you was 33. Um, or you could be seeing 333 three, three on the clock. Three is really standing out to me right now. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse, this person is no longer fighting for this connection. I feel like they was trying to hold on to this karmic or this situation here in the past. But this thumb became too toxic. This person is ready to leave, ready to go. This is somebody who also could have told this karmic that they didn't want them no more. Because I'm kind of getting a confession. I'm hearing Usher right now. These are my confessions. So this is somebody who could definitely, this person could have confessed to this karmic that they don't want this relationship no more. Because it's too toxic. Some of you guys, you could be a Capricorn or you was dealing with a Capricorn. Um, Spirit, what else? We got the Ace of Wands coming out. This is somebody who's about to leave. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is somebody who's about to leave. Okay. This person finna walk away. If this person was staying with this other person for stability, I'm picking up like... This is somebody who could definitely end up getting their own place or they could even go stay with family or friends. But this person is fixing to go. OK, and I'm definitely picking up this person blocking his energy or her energy from this karmic here, because this is somebody who wants to hold on to this person. I'm picking up very controlled and very dominating here, but this is somebody who's fighting back. I just heard it finally. I just heard finally, you guys. This person is fighting back now. Spirit. So we got the King of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Wands in the reverse. Whoever this is, y'all, they waking the fuck up. <laughs> I know that. This person is waking the fuck up. We got um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming in in reverse. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a water sign. But they're realizing that the situation or the person or people that they went toward, this was not their divine path. This is somebody who's realizing their divine path now. Okay, I'm picking up like spirit. I'm put the fear of God in this person or something. Something I'm scared the shit out of this person. Something has definitely scared the shit out of this person, y'all. Whatever is going on, I'm picking up like this is on a cosmic level, okay? 
This is what's going on in the spiritual realm. People who ain't been getting their shit together and they ain't been doing what they supposed to do by you or by other people or by God. Spirit is making their life a living nightmare at this time. Okay. Um, but this is somebody who's realizing that the situations that they've been in is not successful. If anything, this has caused their downfall. There could definitely be people in the community as well that know about them or it's people that starting to turn their back from this person. And it's because of the life that they've been living. Spirit, what else? Oh, I was not expecting this reading. <laughs> I was not. We got the King of Wands coming in in reverse now. All the kings, all the kings, not the queens, but the kings are coming in in reverse. Um, woman or man, take it how it resonate, but the masculine energy right now is getting their ass whipped. <laughs> That's all I got to say, okay? They getting their ass whipped. Um, there could literally be a physical altercation here as well. Okay, especially if this um, Karmika was dealing with another man here. I'm picking up two men here as well. They could find out about this or there's going to be some type of altercation or a fight. Somebody been doing something behind the other person's back. Very sneaky energy. This is somebody who gaslights situations. They like to flip it on the other person. But I'm picking up like this is no longer like everything is being exposed. Everything is coming to the light. What's in the dark always comes to the light. You can only hide for so long. Spirit, what else? A lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety and fear is around this person. This is somebody who's not sleeping well. This is somebody who... Um, I'm hearing stress. This person is stressed out. I'm hearing because of their lack of um, succeeding or their failures. Whatever it is that they thought they was going to achieve, they have failed in this or something has fallen apart. And this person really don't know what to do about this situation. Everything in the dark is coming to the light with the sun coming out here. So like... Literally, shit is hitting the fan. We got tower here. And it's coming in in a reverse. For some of you guys, um, you could have been dealing with a Scorpio. All right. But I'm picking up on the energy of this person is wanting to come back in and rebuild with you. They want to start over new with you. Okay. Because they feel like you are their person. And I just heard I was a fool. This person feel like they was very foolish for what they done to you. I'm also picking up on the energy of this person is reaping the same pain that you went through. Okay. The same heartbreak that you, that they caused you. It done came back to this person. So this is somebody who definitely want to return back into your life. For some of you guys, you're going to end up hearing from this person. Okay. But... I just heard I was a fool. This person feel very foolish. Um, I'm here a week. Okay, eight of ones, they coming. This person is coming. Okay. Um, you guys get ready because I am picking up a lot of communication. This is somebody who's gonna be blowing your phone up, okay? <laughs> I just heard uh what's that song? Have you seen uh um dang I can't think of that song. Have you seen us? Tell me, have you seen us? Seen her? I can't think who sang that song, but baby. <laughs> um, for some of you guys, you could have moved or you could have blocked this person. Or this could be somebody who's literally asking about you or asking around. Okay, if you got mutual friends. um, It's like they want to know what you're doing or if you're dealing with someone else. 
with the two of swords in the reverse you guys are about to find out the truth you about you're about to see for yourself that this person is definitely going to want to come back towards you all right but this is somebody who's making up their mind it's like they're no longer indecisive about what they want or who they want because whatever they've been going through you guys um this was very heavy for this person. For some of you, you could have been separated from this person for a while. Okay, I'm here a couple of years for some of you. Um, but this is somebody who... Um, it's like they can't stay away from you no longer. Or they could have wanted you guys to reach out to them. But for a lot of you, you haven't done that. So this person is... They're about to drop their ego and their pride and reach out to you. This is somebody who's very egotistical, okay, very prideful. But they finna let they finna let their guard down here. We got the seven of cups coming out. It's like they see you guys with all these options, or they see you guys doing very well, okay. For some of you, they could be they can have a way of keeping tabs on you. But they feel like you guys are very successful at this time or you got a lot of options coming your way. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you done upgraded since this person walked out of your life. And they could have definitely thought that they was going to find more elsewhere. But for a lot of you guys, you upgraded. Okay. I'm hearing more than this person expected. It's like whatever you went through with this person, it put you on your spiritual path. It put you on your spiritual purpose. A lot of you guys discovered who you are. And this is somebody who's acknowledging your power at this time. Or they're watching you walk in your power. They watching you walk in your strength. Okay. They see you. They see you, baby. And they know you are the one. Okay. They know you the one. With this infinity sign, they feel like um, the two of you guys are meant to be together. I'm also here an earth angel. For some of you guys, you could be a Leo. Um, Spirit, show me what else. Ace of Cups. <laughs> this person is wanting to come back in to give you guys a solid love offer here. Um, They're wanting to... Um, some of you guys are definitely going to hear from this person. They're wanting to come back in and make things right. <laughs> Why am I hearing R. Kelly right now? If I could turn back the hands of time. Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you could definitely be done upgraded, like I said. Or you could... Um, some of you guys, you received a settlement. Or this could definitely be a promotion in your career for some of you guys you done started your own business but they see you guys standing in your power you're getting your coins you're getting your pentacles and this is somebody who feel like you are their match that's what i'm hearing here like you are their match this person know who you are especially for my twin flames out there um this person know who you are and it's like they don't want to keep living without you. I keep hearing, I can't live without you. For a lot of you guys, you was the backbone in this relationship. You could have carried this relationship on your back. You carried this person. And it's like they're acknowledging this now. That's what I'm hearing here as well. I keep hearing, I can't make it without you. Let's see. I wasn't expecting this spirit. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors, and spirit, guys. So, oh, I ain't finna get that card. I'm tired. Um, we got ancient wisdom and knowledge. So, for some of you guys, your ancestors been talking to you, are giving you a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. Thank you, boo. Um, you knew that this was gonna happen. It's like you, I'm picking up, you prophesized this was going to happen. You could have told this person that they was going to try to come back to you or you was going to upgrade and they was going to watch you rise. Yeah, everything that you spoke came to pass is what I'm hearing here. You can definitely have um, bloodlines that reach back to ancient Egypt here as well. But you're very knowledgeable, like... 
you know what's going to happen before it happens is what I'm hearing for some of you. Um, we got, I looked up to the wrong people when I was a child. So this person definitely could have looked up to the wrong people as role models here. I just heard a father. This could be their father or their brothers or even childhood friends here as well. But some of you guys, you could work in the healthcare field. Um, you could be a, a social worker, <laughs> a nurse, a doctor, um, a psychologist, um, therapy. I'm seeing a lot of different roles here. You could work in a lab. This is somebody who's a little bit possessive over you guys. All right. It's like they don't want to see you guys with no one else. Um, this is somebody who definitely was doing what they wanted to do. But when it comes down to you and you being with someone else, you fucking up. <laughs> That's why I, <laughs> I just heard don't fuck up. <laughs> so this is somebody who's very possessive over you guys. They don't want to see you guys with no one else. But I am picking up that this is somebody who's very depressed at this time or this person is feeling very lonely without you. But they can't get you guys off of their mind. I'm also picking up that um, this person, uh, this person, I had some type of revelation, something I've been exposed to this person during this time as well. Someone needs to clear their chakras. And then we got hurt people, hurt people. So, yeah, I feel like this person has definitely been hurt before in their life. And this is somebody who never healed from the pain of the past is what I'm hearing and I'm picking up like this is somebody who definitely done hurt a lot of people in their life they're needing to clear and balance their chakras they're needing to heal their self at this time um spirit is calling this person to bring balance into their life um it says I look for you wherever I go I knew I heard that song have you seen <laughs> This person is definitely got you on their brain. Like they can go to the store. They could feel like they don't see you at the store. I'm picking up like this person looking at different people thinking that it's you. Um, <laughs> or this is definitely somebody who it's like this person see you wherever they go. They can't get you off of their mind. And it's like they know that the two of you guys have a divine purpose here. Spirit, what else? My lies was catching up with me. So, yeah, something I got caught up with this person. I feel like not only this person was lying, but the people that was around this person was lying as well. I'm hearing surrounded. This person's life has been surrounded in lies here. Spirit. Oh, too much spirit. Oh. This... I'm also picking up you guys. Like I said, this person is drained. This person, it's like their energy is on E <laughs> at this time. For a lot of you guys, you are taking back your power. You're like a powerhouse. This says powerhouse. This is your season. So you're like a beacon of lights, okay? You're definitely very attractive at this time. There could be a lot of people who want to get to know you, meet you, talk to you. You can have random people to walk up to you in the store and tell you their whole story, their whole situation. But I'm picking up you're radiating this type of light here at this time. And it's because you guys been healing yourself. This person is also drawn to your light. Okay. And this is somebody who feel like you can help them heal. I'm here to help them heal. Help me heal. Um, <laughs> this says if something isn't working, it's time to switch it up. So this person is realizing, realizing that the situation that they put themselves in is not working and it's time to switch things up. It's time to step away from a situation that's done turned toxic here. And I feel like that's another reason why they're drawn back towards you. Because like I said, they see your light and they know that other people see your light as well. And it's like they want to get back to you before you get away. Okay, because this is somebody who know that you're not going to be on the table for long. They can feel like you're about to get away or somebody is coming into your life or is in your life at this time. 
um, we got throat chakra. So you guys, for some of them, they've been having a hard time talking to you, communicating to you. But this person is definitely going to be reaching out to you soon. I'm not happy. Okay. Currently in a toxic relationship. What did I say? What did I say? I told y'all they not happy being there with that crazy chicken head. They not happy y'all. And I'm picking up another reason why this person didn't reach out to uh, some of you guys is because whoever they was dealing with, it's like this person was on this person like a hound. I just heard a hound dog. Like what you doing? Who you texting? What's taking you so long to get to the house? You only work five minutes away. What's when you got here in eight minutes? Like I mean a hound on this person. So I, I am picking up like this is somebody who I got sick of this. They don't got tired of this. Um, I just heard nagging, nagging. But whoever this karmic is, they definitely know about a lot of you guys. And I'm picking up that they've been trying to copy you, copy your style, your swag, how you talk, how you act, how you dress, where you go, like just certain things you do. This is somebody who's definitely been trying to mimic you, but this person is a fraud, okay? And um, your person know it. Your person know that this person can't replace the original. They just can't. No matter how much they try, they can't. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, y'all, my nose about to run. This says, I've learned my lesson. I'm ready to come home. Okay, this person ready to come home now. You hear me, anime? This person said, ready to come to the house. <laughs> I'm ready to come home, anime. <laughs> I don't know why I'm seeing uh Tina Turner and Ike right now. I'm ready to come home. <laughs> um, Spirit, show me what I need to see. <laughs> Some of you guys, you can watch that movie or you watched that movie uh recently because that movie just popped up in my head out of nowhere. Spirit, what else? Yeah, this is somebody who still got to do some shadow work, though. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know, this person still got some healing they need to do. Some of you guys, this could be someone that you're divorcing or you got a divorce from this person. They're wanting to return back into your life. But for some of you guys, if this is a twin flame um, connection, you could have asked Spirit to break this contract. Okay? You could have asked Spirit, you know what, Spirit, this ain't working. Will you please break this uh, contract? This person want to come back, <laughs> okay? Because you are a high priestess, and this person is realizing who you are now. Yes, he know this person know who you is. Spirit, what else? We got crown chakra. This is somebody who's been getting downloads about who you are. All right, and that they they not supposed to be in this connection here. For some of them, they they know that they messing with a karmic. Now this karmic could have followed this person from a past life. For some of you guys, so this is something that's picking up from a past life. Is what I'm hearing, but it's part of this person's karma. It's part of this person awakening at this time. Spirit, what else? Everything happened for a reason, you guys. Um, coming up with a plan, strategizing and analyzing so this person is coming up with a plan at this time on how they're going to come back into your life what strings they're going to pull what they're going to do um they're trying to figure it out okay i fucked up and this is coming out under i've learned my lesson can i come home so yeah this person know they fucked up big time this person Spirit is handing this person their ass at this time. And they, they see the truth, okay? For some of them, there could be some information that got leaked as well. Um, we got a power couple in reunion. This is coming in on a divorce. So, <laughs> I know some of you guys don't want to hear this. I know you don't, okay? But... I'm picking up on the energy um, that this person is being pulled to come back to you. I just heard that song by R. Kelly, Your Body's Calling Me, okay, with this powerhouse being here. It's like your light is calling this person in. Um, it's like the more you worked on yourself and healed yourself, like this is somebody who's waking it up because you don't woken up. That's what I'm hearing as well. Spirit, what else? I'm hearing that song, Wake Me Up Inside. Um, I don't forgot who sang that, Wake Me Up Inside. 
um, receiving the key to your wish fulfillment. So you are this person's wish fulfillment here. You are the key, like I said. And this person is realizing that you are the key. And this is somebody who, this person know who you are. I'm hearing you are the one. Um, this is somebody who's been taught a major, a major lesson, you guys. Okay. And this is a lesson this person will never forget. Um, I just heard I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Anything else? Okay, we got spring season brings new beginnings. I'm picking up, you guys, something could have been exposed in the springtime or this person's life started falling apart in the spring season. But I'm hearing that it's done came crashing down or something was exposed in the springtime. I'm picking up exposed with this car here. Something could have started back in March and it got worse and worse and worse and worse as the year started to go by. Look what we got. Mercury retrograde, return of the X. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you guys. Some of you guys are definitely about to hear from this person if you haven't already. But um, this is somebody who financially depleted. This person feels like their life has fallen apart since they walked away from you. Um, they feel like you was a good luck charm. Or you definitely... It's like you was the person that was building this person up or encouraging this person. Um, you fed this person a lot of love and light. And I'm picking up like they haven't been able to get this from no one else. We got longevity. A gift is coming in. So something is coming in to you guys. This is definitely longevity. Okay. Spirit, what else? I never thought you would really walk away. Yeah. This person is in the eye of the storm at this time, you guys. I'm telling you, they going through a karmic storm at this time. But this is somebody who thought that you was going to keep taking them back into your life. That you wouldn't truly walk away until you prove this person wrong. And this is somebody who realized that it's a possibility that you won't never come back into their life. And I'm picking up like, you guys, you done scared the shit out of this person. Okay, this is somebody who thought that they could play games with you. All right? They thought that they could run games on you and you was going to sit there and take it. <laughs> a lot of you guys, no, nah, you, you found out who you were. Okay, you started stepping in your power and you walked away. I hate what I've done, but I would have never learned if it didn't happen. Like I said, everything happened for a reason, you guys. Um, I'm picking up, this is going to help this person spiritually ascend, okay? Because this is somebody who have like a very immature type of spirit, okay? Some of you guys, you could be old souls, but this is like a very immature spirit here. You taught me so much. You did. And for a lot of you guys, like I said, you upgraded or you helped upgrade this person when you was with them. But you definitely came in their life to teach them major lessons here. Some of you guys are definitely this person's karma. And by them betraying you, walking out on you or misusing you, they're getting karma for this. Sleepless nights. This person can't sleep. They can't think. They can't eat. They can't function. None of that, okay? For some of you guys, you could be picking up on this energy. You could be having like sleepless nights and not understand like why I can't fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? You're picking up on your twin, what they're going through. It's what I'm hearing. Um, I told y'all. Um, and I don't know why I mentioned Robin Williams. Like I said, he was one of the richest people physically in the world, but he still committed suicide. 
for some of them, you guys, they have been having suicidal thoughts. Okay, it's not got that bad with this person. And like I said, they could have money. They could, they could have, they could be good, you know, when it comes in the financial department. But mentally and spiritually, this person is in poverty at this time. Some of them, they have been having suicidal thoughts. Because I'm hearing that song, Suicide. Suicide, I don't even know who sang it. I think, I think that child passed away. Suicide, my son and them used to listen to that song and I told them to stop listening to it. Because it was too much emotions in it. And you can't listen to like music like that. You just can't. That'll bring your vibration down. Um, spirit. What else? This person's life now became very stagnant at this time. Okay? Very stagnant. Nothing is moving. Nothing is growing. Nothing is manifesting. Nothing is going this person's way. I see your face every time I close my eyes, okay? This person was living a very fast lifestyle. And that's another reason why you guys had to pull away because I'm hearing dangerous lifestyle, very fast and dangerous lifestyle. But this person can't get you off of their mind. When they close their eyes, they see you. When they wake up in the morning, they think of you. In noon, they think of you. They think of you guys all day. I'm hearing it's, it's to the point where it's starting to drain them. Um, completion. Old cycles are ending and new ones are beginning here. Okay. So there is an old cycle that's ending, you guys. And a new one is about to begin for some of you. And this, on the back of it, it says she's, she take all my money. So this could be somebody who lived with another woman or another karmic or another dude. But they're taking all of their money. Um, they really don't have nothing to show for themselves. Anything else, Spirit? Ah, it's cold. I'd be so glad when I get over this cold. Spirit is calling this person to discover who they are. All right? It says, discover who you are. And, I, and look, it says, I feel your energy. So this person definitely feel you guys' energy. Like I said, the more you heal and you discover who you are, it's going to help this person discover who they are as well. But spirit is wanting for this person to disconnect from all of this toxic energy and to go within and to discover who they are. Because this is somebody who's definitely lost. It's like this person has been trying to live and walk in other people's shoes. And they haven't really tried on their own shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's like they've been trying to live other people's lives. But this is not for them. So anything that's not for them is going to fall apart. This is somebody who I'm picking up is meant to be a leader. But this person has definitely become a follower. Is what I'm hearing. But this person definitely feel you guys' energy. They feel your strength and your power. And they feel like you are the key. Okay, you are the, you are the missing key in their life at this time. And they're wanting to make things right with you. Some of you guys, you could be a speaker. Or you could be... Um, you can be very inspirational or you can speak a lot of life into people. You can encourage people, give people great advice. You could have gave this person a lot of great advice as well. Um, this is somebody who definitely missed that. I'm hearing your conversations, the conversations that you used to have. Some of you guys, you could have stayed awoke late at night just having conversations with this person. And it came so naturally is what I'm hearing. Or this is somebody who could talk to you about certain things that they can't talk to with their family and friends. But this person is missing this at this time. Um, yeah, this person is definitely wanting for you guys to let them back in. Will you ever forgive me? So... I feel like this person is definitely wanting for some of you guys to forgive them. Okay? They feel like you they feel like you don't really have a reason to forgive them because they know they did you wrong, but at the same time this person this is somebody who like I said this person was lost 
And this is somebody who really didn't know how to deal with pain or deal with their emotions. They didn't know how to process their emotions. They could have did things to push you away or to numb the pain or to like keep their mind off of you. I'm kind of picking up on the energy of somebody who could get with random women or men just so they would not feel the loss of you or this is somebody who didn't want to love you as deeply as they knew that they was in love with you as well. I know it's crazy, y'all, but that's what I'm picking up on as well. <clears throat> what else? I have abandonment issues stemming from my father. So I am picking up like a father figure. I picked this up early. Um... This person is going to have to break a generational curse that's stemming from their father's side of the family. And I feel like this is somebody who's starting to see that this has been going on for a while. Or, you know, this is this is he this person is playing out the same scene as his father and his father before him and the father before him. But I'm picking up spirit is wanting for this person to break this curse here. I'm picking up that this person was meant to break this curse. But like I said, it's like they fell off their path. They fell off. Some of them, they're definitely going to court. Okay, this could happen in October. Or I don't know why I said October. This could be happening in November with 11 being back here. Or this could happen in 11 days or 11 weeks. But somebody definitely could be going to court here. Um... We got building a solid foundation from the ground up. So this person is wanting to build a solid foundation with you guys this time around. I feel like when when you guys first got together, this wasn't built on a solid foundation. I'm picking up like it was built on lies. But this person is wanting to make things right with you now. Um, and I feel like this is definitely... Um, this person is wanting to make things right with you now, but I am picking up like there's definitely somebody that's around this person. I am picking up a karmic here that is hating on your success or they hate how well you're doing at this time. It's like the karmic is looking at you guys or they're sending you a lot of negative energy. For some of you guys, you could have felt this, but I'm picking up like you're protected now or this person done lost their power, but they're hating on how successful you are, how beautiful, how beautiful you are, um, how you're standing in your strength and your power at this time. And it's like they know this person is wanting to come back. I am picking up a separation here. It's like things done got so bad in this home to the point where this person don't have a choice but to walk away. It's like they fear walking away from this karmic. But it's like they know they don't have no other choice but to walk away. Especially if they want to start over with you. That's what I'm hearing, you guys. Anyway, let's see. I'm going to pour some trinkets before I lose my voice. <laughs> and see what else spirit got to say. Divine Holy Spirit and Sister Spirit got to the pure white light. Show me what I need to see for the collective at this time regarding this situation. What do they need to know? Oh, Spirit, that mean it. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys, I'm going to run through these real quick because a lot of them came out. <laughs> so, oh, wow. <laughs> so, like I said, this person was definitely dealing with somebody who was very toxic, but I also feel like this person was toxic as well. But there is a situation that's coming to an end. I'm hearing it's coming to an end because this is poisonous. This is too toxic for this person to deal with. For some of them, you guys, they could have found out they was dealing with a kitchen witch. <laughs> okay. I'm hearing a wicked witch. <laughs> like, whoever they was dealing with, this is somebody who's very toxic. This ain't no pretty witch. This this is like the wicked witch from the West. Uh, but I'm picking up like this woman could have definitely used some type of spell work on this person. Or this is somebody who was definitely trying to keep this person with her. But this person is breaking out of a spell. 
okay, or breaking away from this. Because I'm picking up, like, she could have tried to bind this person to her. But spirit is removing. Spirit is removing all curses is what I'm hearing at this time. And I'm picking up like this is falling apart because we also got Jesus coming out. This is Jesus is coming out as well. So if it was some kitchen, kitchen witches out here that was trying to do some spell work or they was trying to use sex magic or something like that, this is being blocked. Spirit is tearing all of this down. This will no longer work. If anything, it's going to go back to them. And they better be careful using this type of stuff because using it on the right person, it can make that person snap and take them out. Like real talk. You you can't play with people. Will, but you know, we all got free will. Okay. So dabbling in people free will, you can't do that. So I'm picking up like spirit blocking these women or men that's been trying to hex these people to stay with them. And if anything, it's going to come back to them 10 times fold. That's what I'm hearing, you guys. Um, This is somebody who's definitely seeking peace at this time. Okay? We got the peace symbol. This person is wanting to make peace with you. And they're also wanting peace in their life now. I'm hearing grown up. This is somebody who's growing up. Okay? They're seeing the bigger picture or they're seeing the light. It's like this person been surrounded in darkness and now they're starting to see the light. Okay? We also got a starfish and we got a star. Some of you guys, you even if you're not in the public eye, you know, um, you could just be looking very well at this time. You could look very good, glamorous or luxurious. Um, you're taking care of yourself. You're glowing. Um, you're doing very well in your career or your endeavors. This person has definitely been keeping tabs on you some type of way. With this starfish coming out, I'm picking up, I'm seeing the ocean and I'm seeing a lot of water. So this is dealing with emotions like... I just heard, I want to be where you are. So this person is deep in their emotions at this time because they're watching you rise while their life is falling apart. It's what I'm hearing. This is somebody who, because I'm picking up on the energy of I'm ready to cry, but I'm not ready to cry. I feel like I want to cry. This person definitely could be crying or, you know, they might not be showing people, but I'm picking up like tears or heavy emotions when it comes to this person. So this is somebody who definitely want to be where you are. They feel like the two of you guys are a team. This person done discovered that you are their twin flame. You are their soul mate and they're wanting to come back to you. And I'm picking up on the energy that this person is about to give the karmic the boot. Okay. All right. They're about to kick this person out of their life. Now, this could be somebody who's in the country or this person, you know, this person could ride horses, but I'm picking up more so about this person that's going to give this karmic the boot. Are people who is just toxic in their life, they're kicking them out of their life now. Because it's like spirit don't woke this person up to the truth. I just heard awaken. This person is being awakened. I keep hearing finally. <laughs> Because this is the year of the twin flames. This is the year of the twin flames. So this could have took some time. Okay. But I'm hearing this is the year of the twin flames. So I'm picking up you guys. The ones that's been very stubborn and siding their ways. Refusing to change. Spirit done broke them down to the point where... They don't have no choice but to get their life in order. It's what I'm hearing here. And that won't be for everybody. But for the ones I'm picking up on, this person is about to change their life. It's what I'm hearing. It's not got too heavy. It's too much. <laughs> oh, God. Sinus. So, y'all, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed this message. 